Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. I'm Ambition Rates. So today we're going to be doing a review of the May 2020 curl box. So like I said, this is Aunt Jackie's box. And so we got a scarf, which I think is super pretty. Aunt Jackie's Flaxseed Fix My Hair Intensive Repair Conditioning Mask. Aunt Jackie's Coconut Cream and Buttercream Intensive Moisture Sealant. So this has coconut oil in it, it obviously says that. And I looked on the back of it, coconut oil is the fifth ingredient in this. So I won't actually be trying this because my hair despises coconut oil. So I will be giving this away. Stay tuned for that. Definitely subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell because I will be hosting a giveaway. I also have the Aunt Jackie's Coconut Cream Co-Wash Coconut Milk Conditioning Cleanser. I also won't be trying this. This is also going to be featured in my giveaway. So, like I said, stay tuned for that. So there's also the Aunt Jackie's Quench Moisture Intensive Leave-In Conditioner. This is the one that was cracked. I don't know if you can see that. It's cracked right here. So probably open it. It's going to... Yeah, it's gonna be a pain. You see that? Um, so yes, yeah, so we will be trying this today. And lastly, in the box was Aunt Jackie's Grape Seed Style and Shine Recipe Slick Flexible Styling Glue. I was trying to look up other things to kind of pair with Aunt Jackie's for this video, like their gels, but mm, the ingredients for her gels and styling creams was just not, just not. It, no, it just wasn't child. So I'm like, I'm not about to put my hair or my pockets through that. So I'm not buying anything else of hers. So we're just going to try these two products today. So, all right, so let's go ahead and try the Aunt Jackie's Fix My Hair Intensive Repair Conditioning Mask. Enriched with flaxseed, mango butter, shea butter, avocado, and coconut oil for dry, damaged, and protective styling. Where is coconut oil in this? I did not know. Six ingredient. Okay. It may not be the worst thing in the world just because I'm washing it out. This is a very creamy and thick product, just the way I like it. It reminds me of um, a back in the day product. Ooh, this smells good. Like a light baby lotion. Mm -hmm. um, this, the consistency of this reminds me of the back in the day product, the hair mail um, treatment mask. My hair's not wet, so I wonder if I should get a spray bottle because applying it so far it feels okay, but I feel like I would have a lot more slip and manageability if my hair was like soaking wet. Alright, I got my spray bottle with warm water, of course. So let's see if this makes a difference. I know some people, um, I don't remember her name, but she's on YouTube. She likes to put her deep conditioner on dry hair. I always thought that was interesting. I don't know about dry hair, but... So, so far it's doing an okay job with finger detangling. All right, let's talk more about this product. So, this on Jackie's line, the only thing I've ever tried of them in the past is their custard and their flaxseed gel. So I've never tried their, you know, conditioning products or anything like that. But, have you ever seen me talk about on Jackie's on my channel? No, because I don't really care for them. Their ingredients are not my favorite and those two products that I tried dried my hair out. So, not really a fan of, of her products. So, when I got this in my curl box, I'm like, okay, you know, I do hear a lot of people talk about them. So, let's just give them a try. Unfortunately, I can only use three out of the five products, but that's obviously better than nothing. So, after my hair is super wet, that's when I can, you know, finger detangle and get the product really in my hair. So it has some good slip. So like I said, your hair has to be very wet. Okay, sorry in advance if you can hear my AC. It's just a little warm today and girl ain't trying to die. But I just rinsed out the Aunt Jackie's Fix My Hair Deep Conditioner and I used my hot head for about like 15, 20 minutes. So when I took off the hot head, my hair felt very conditioned. It felt great. And then when I just wash it out, like, I don't know. It doesn't feel that great. It actually feels kind of dry. And you can kind of tell because my hair looks kind of lifeless. But on Jackie's Quench Moisture Intensive Leave-In Conditioner, Ultra Hydrating Deep Moisture Therapy for Parched Treshes, which is what I have right now. 
Revive Dry Hair with Aunt Jackie's Moisture Rich Leave in Conditioner. Natural ingredients including marshmallow root give great slip and just enough moisture to keep the thirstiest coils and curls refreshed. Okay, with my broken cap and all. Ooh, this smells interesting. It smells like a cleaning product. Doesn't this color look like a cleaning product to you? Okay, ooh, this is a very watery conditioner. Look, ooh, this smells like straight alcohol. Oh my god, I don't like it. Okay, so besides the smell, let's get past that. Let's get past that. Um, it's very light. Um, um, I don't know if it's adding anything to my hair, really. Any moisture. And it says it has slip. I don't know, but oh my god. Y'all, I know. Okay. I know on this channel. I'm always complaining about smells, but y'all, if it really stinks, I'm going to say it. This smells like straight up chemicals. Who wants to smell like chemicals all day? I have a lot more effective, good smelling leave-in conditioners. We're gonna let this marinate, cause I don't know. I don't know, so far, I'm, the deep conditioner is a no for me. I have better deep conditioners, but I do appreciate how big this tub is. Um, it's a 15 ounce tub. Don't know how much it is because of course I got it in the curl box, but I can find the price for you guys and I can put it on the screen. This bee is trying to get in. I must smell these products. Mm. Alright, so I left this leave-in conditioner on for quite some time. Because I really need my hair to be moisturized. Okay, it feels pillowy soft. The ends of my hair has felt better. Oh no, never mind. I think it's that. Forget it. Hold on. Rewind for a second. I think my hair felt soft after that initial takedown of the conditioning cap because my hair felt warm. But now that it's touching the, the air and the elements for a second, it feels dry. Yeah, no. It just feels pillow soft, but it's not hydrated. And I've said this before on my channel. Just because my hair feels soft doesn't mean that it's hydrated. Doesn't mean, doesn't mean that it's moisturized. And that's exactly what I feel it feels like. Yeah. So because there wasn't any, well, there were styling products. The buttercream, I won't be trying the buttercream today. Okay, so I'm actually gonna be trying the On Jackery Slick Flexible Styling Glue now around my edges. This wash and go, ignore it for now. Just subscribe to my channel if you wanna find out what products I just used. But for now, just ignore it. <laughs> the only way you'll know what it is is if you subscribe and hit that notification bell. So this product, is goopy. I mean, that's what it says. Styling glue. Slick it, smooth it, sculpt it, spike it, slay it, slick. It's the ultimate styler, taming the most stubborn hair. Great for sleek styles like ponytails and puffs or for sculpting edges. Okay, so that's what I'm supposed to be doing. It didn't say wet hair, it said dry or damp hair. So not that I'm not that I have to see instant gratification, but hello. <laughs> What you doing there, partner? I'm not trying to really soup anything, but you gonna soup? Nope. Okay. <laughs> I don't think it's the souping kind. I think it is more for a slick back style, which I do want this to go back. So honestly, right now on this side, it feels really good. All right. So I just want to talk about this flexible styling glue real quick. So I have it right here and this thing is rock hard for sure like it's definitely not going anywhere i haven't really like gone outside but i can see this maybe like holding in the summertime for this side mm, it feels hard it did flake though like i see that it has like some flakes right here but i don't know if it's because i, I had the wash and go product on it i don't know but either way, like that's just something to, to probably pay attention to. I also don't really see this flexible glue being something for edges per se, like, you know, swooping edges. Just because like I tried to right here and it was super soft. I think it's more for pullback styles. And again, if you're interested to see this combination for wash and go, hit that subscribe button and that bell so you're notified of when that is live. Oh,